welcome to Fashion Week Online. I'm Melanie Citrugada and today we're going behind the scenes and under the scenes with the lovely Chevy and Chica Chen of Makeup Pro. Hi. Yay! <laughs> These lovely ladies are so much fun. They have got this amazing studio that you really just have to see. So tell us about Makeup Pro and how you really got started. I'd love to hear about the inspiration behind your entire company. So um, I actually started Makeup Pro six years ago, mm -hmm. and that's um, so far I, I love the company. And now Chevy have joined the company as well, and we're so happy. Finally, I have like a full team member right now. But six years ago, I still remember I just came back from Hong Kong, and previously I was the uh, the retail manager for mm -hmm. uh, Estee Lauder Group Bobby Brown, and I learned so much from the company. And then um, I figured, you know maybe we should have some kind of workshop that kind of balance out the um, the upper management and with the really the artists artistry because it's always like a gap missing in between because a lot of makeup artists they think i just paint faces i i look good i'm i'm very skillful and i just stand like in the counters and paint faces but it's actually they're not realizing that they actually have a sales goal so it's not easy for the upper management to deliver that, you know, and with all those um, marketing strategies to them, it's like, it's too much, it doesn't know it is. Right. You know, so we started Makeup Pro and then we started to have workshops that kind of feel like this. And that's how we um, network a lot now with the LVMH group, I still love the group, and um, L'Oreal group. And before that, the reason why I dove into like makeup is because um, I was the finalist uh, of IMAX. Um, the competition in London. It's called the International Makeup Audition. And I was Asian. I there was Asians, but I think like not a lot. So I just feel that, you know, I just really want to bring like the artistry mixed with business and like make 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 it alive. I love it. So that's how we started. I think the inspiration and kind of what we uh, create is it's more like a platform. So we invite and we um, you know we welcome a lot of people in you know different worlds, of, uh, walks of life. You know um, anything in the art world, um, we really welcome it and we want to create this as a creative haven, as a platform for everyone to showcase their work, whether it's fashion week, whether it's editorial shoots, whether it's an artist that's a graffiti artist that is utilizing this space. So we just really welcome. That, and I think that's like truly what the concept and the inspiration of Nika Pro. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, so, you know, as we're going through and talking about these things, you'll notice that there is this amazing kind of graffiti wall that really just stands out. It's not something you really see when you go to a makeup studio or even a lot of places in New York. You'll also see it behind us in the far distance. Um, there's actually a workshop happening right now. So these lovely ladies hold between two and three different workshops every single day, even on Sundays, which I still think is crazy. <laughs> Can you guys tell us a little bit about kind of the classes you're offering and how everyday people can get involved? So um, currently we're holding um, different workshops and one of them is really um, gearing towards the makeup artistry. So, um, you know, we want to really uh, educate our um, artists to actually understand like the periodic looks just because in fashion um, a lot of the trends are from, you know, history. Um, you know, the Great Gatsby look, you know, the Marilyn Monroe look and all of the stuff that um, Chanel or like these bigger, um, you know, brands that were, work, that, that are you know showing and are trendsetters these are kind of the inspirations that they're looking at so I think that it's really important to really educate our students with the uh, artistry skills to understand the trends to know what was um, what's the 80s you know how mm -hmm. to like bring it back into modern um, and just really retransition it and make it your own Absolutely. Mm -hmm. talk about the oh, so the uh, the counter workshop is an eighty hour workshop. So a lot of yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of hours. <laughs> so a lot of artists they would actually uh, come in and say, hey, you know, um, I want to learn makeup. I might have a little sense of makeup artistry skills. Mm -hmm. However, I really want to know like how can I really prep myself for an interview. So at that part, we we teach them how to dress properly how to set their uh, sales goal trend, and how to communicate to the upper management 
and so on. And what, what are the, the other brands that you have to see as a competitor and then what are you so good about it? And, and also chatting with your client while you're applying makeup, not just applying makeup but with with you know, with just like no sound. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of artists they would tend to be like, Oh, you know, I'm so in love with this makeup, but you have to really consult with your client. Is that what she's going to do after she purchased the product? That might not be the one the person that you want to be, but she might not want to be with the high cheekbone and like that that brow, that thick brow. Maybe she would be like, mm, that's the trend, but that's not really me. So I think communication, you know, communication is the key. So that's what we teach in the counter workshop. And after that, um, you know, Chevy would kind of oversee their resumes and then set up an interview immediately with the uh, Chanel, Tom Ford, um, Bert of Goodman, um, Sachs, Macy's. So it's really depending on the student's level. And then we, we also have to uh, drop those with them. It feels like Makeup Pro is a really wonderful way of connecting anyone from, you know, a, a very basic beginner who's first picking up a brush to someone who is on a much higher skill level, someone with a lot more expertise. I feel like Makeup Pro feels almost like a, um, really does feel like a safe haven for anyone who's really into makeup artistry and wanting to do more than just, you know, just beat your face and contour. I think it sounds like a really great way to learn and to grow and to continue that education aspect, but also to have a lot of fun with makeup. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so what are you guys seeing is happening a lot in regards to trends? I know we talked a little bit about you know, Marilyn Monroe and mm -hmm. a lot of other looks that kind of come back because history always has a way of repeating itself. Mm -hmm. So we always, um, you know, colors are definitely something really powerful when it comes to fashion or anything in the makeup artistry world. Um, so we always, you know, there are a lot of these, um, uh, like WGSN or any of these uh, trend forecasters. So obviously we also look into uh, look to see what is forecasting. So for example, this um, this this year, 2017, one of the colors um, is greenery. So I think it's a lot, it's a really pop color. Um, and we also talked about it, you know, because of the politics or because of what we're facing. Now, you know, sometimes it's great to have some strong, powerful color to make people feel better, to make people feel good. So, and also understanding just because this color is greener, that doesn't mean that you have to put green all over your face or like be shadow. Maybe some people won't really understand that, but how do you use that greenery in pops and uh, like little accent pieces, um, like an accessory? So, you know, we do. Um, learn and teach and educate our um, artists um, with the colors, with the trending, um, and how to really recreate the energy around. You know, we want to discover and try our best to, um, I would say, convince our, our, our clients to try all the new colors that they hate the most. So it's kind of crazy, but you know, we just want you to discover that you don't only have one look. You know, it could be very fun. Makeup color is all about transforming. So now it's summertime. Although you might hate that Barbie pink, you hate that orange color, but give it a try. It doesn't have to be like very, very orangey, but it could just be like a little a little tint, you know, on your lip, and then it kind of changes your total look and brings some more personality of you. So that um, discover who you are is on your line. <laughs> yeah, and I think that a lot of uh, girls out here are always uh, trying to find themselves or want to, want to discover what is the best on me, what do I look the best um, in. So I think that this is a, kind of a concept that we felt that we want to be able to be that educator, the pros, um, to help them um, you know, go through this path and to really discover who they are. Um, and we're super excited about it. We're planning, uh, we're launching, or we're actually having um, this survey where we're inviting a thousand people to get their um, <laughs> to get um, complimentary makeup um, from Makeup Pro from our um, artists and to really um, get to know them through the survey and you know want to really discover who they are. <laughs> so you heard that right. One thousand people that they'll be giving. <laughs> Three little makeovers for. I mean, right? That sounds fantastic. Well, thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to kind of see what's next for you. Obviously, Makeup Pro is doing really exciting things. I am so down to participate in that survey, by the way. And, well, and their studio is amazing. These two are amazing. And you definitely have to stop in and see it for yourself. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been Under the Scene.